Katrina Sawa is an award-winning international speaker and business coach known as the Jump Start Your Biz Coach because she literally kicks her clients and their businesses into high gear and fast. She is the creator of Jumpstart Your Marketing and Sales System, Jumpstart Your Biz and 90 Day System, Jumpstart Yourself as a Speaker System, and 12 times international best selling author with 20 books, including Jumpstart Your Business Now and Love Yourself Successful. Oh my goodness. Katrina, we are so excited. Welcome to the Grand Connection. Hey everyone. Good to be here. I love this group. If you're not a member, you definitely need to join. Look at all the great resources you're learning, right? Now, you guys are going to love my presentation and I, because, well, I don't know. This is interesting to talk about. I'm going to share my screen and I've got a whole bunch of things here to share. So let me just um, go quickly because I know I don't have a whole lot of time. Um, and I'm supposed to tell you everything that's going on with AI. <laughs> and I laugh because I'm such a, I'm not an early adopter. Now this has been going on forever. I literally just learned about this last week, you guys. Like I literally just took a class with my mastermind that I'm in and learned about this last week. And I'll tell you what I learned and where I'm focusing. And that, because I only focus on what's efficient because you should never get squirreled with this stuff. This is my point. Please do not get squirreled with something that is not going to help you grow your business. Stop it. So just because someone says, oh, you have to blah, 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 just don't, you don't have to listen. If you have goals and you have things you need to accomplish or you need clients every month in order to make your bills, then maybe this is not what you should focus on. Okay. Because I'm a business coach first and I want you to be efficient and profitable. So these techie tools, I don't usually tell my clients to go down rabbit holes of techie tools. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing and then we can go. So you got to go with a goal. If you're going to go to AI, you got to go with a goal. I want to create more content for my blog. I want to create small blog posts. Um, I want to create posts for social media. I want to... Uh, you know, come up with keywords for my videos and figure out what kind of video content I should write. Well, I did a search for keywords, a topic um, for small business owners look for. Okay. So you, the, the thing with AI is it's really important that you type in the correct thing. And I'm going to show you an example in a second. These are just some things that I've seen in the last week and a half that I have looked at or done myself um, as far as AI. There's a lot, I'm in a mastermind right now with like 200 people and they're very high level six and seven figure earners. And so they're constantly talking an email about all these things. And I'm like, oh, and so I pay attention to some things and not others because I'm like too much going on, right? So the AI conversation, I'm slightly paying attention to. And of course we can generate content, but I did that last week, which is why Susan probably said, well, come to my thing because she got my email that says, oh, look at the AI things I did. And the freaking uh, articles I will show you were ridiculous, okay? So- <laughs> <laughs> so they were not how I speak. Most people, this is how I write. What, how you're hearing me right now is how I write my emails, is how I write my blog posts, is how I write everything, even write my books. And people say, well, I can hear you in my, I can hear you talking. It sounds like you're talking right to me. So the problem with AI is you still have to tweak it, but it's going to give you lots of brainstorm ideas. So, okay. I'm going to show you a bunch of examples in a minute. So that, well, this is a minute. So let me just stop the share really quick because now I got to figure out what I'm sharing. Okay. All right. Let me, ah, uh, where did it go? That's not it. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I can't find the little, the thing I was just sharing. Oh, not good. Uh, it's it, it's all good. I mean, we've been using it in the last little while well, too. No, I've got lots of stuff to share. Hold on one sec. So this was the email I wrote, right? Are you curious about the AI? Because a lot of emails were coming and you probably can't read this. Don't worry. If you want to put your email in a private message to me, um, I can send you this. Okay. So I said, these are the top three things that my peers were sharing um, and, and then I went and went online and I created two articles, okay? Ways to use AI in small business and introduction was the title that it came up with, four ways. And this one was 
pretty big business, customer service, marketing and sales, supply chain management. Who talks about that as an entrepreneur? Nobody. Financial management. And then it always says in conclusion. I'm like, I never said, I haven't said in conclusion in anything since 12th grade. Okay. So, I mean, you do have to edit these things. So the next one, I, I got a little bit more specific. AI, using AI for content creation in small business. So it got more specific when I asked a more specific question. Okay. Content generation, content optimization, social media management. So I was just showing exactly, I copied and pasted these into my email and asked my audience what they thought. And a whole bunch of people came back and said, oh, I'm using AI for this. Oh, I'm using AI for that. So that's great. All right. If you want the email, let me know. This is something I did yesterday. Well, let me show you the website. I honestly, I don't know. I must have exited out all the things I had open. So hold on. I had all these things open. Hold on one second. So yes, there's chat GPT. Um, let me put these in the do 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 in the chat. The thing with chat GPT, which is what everybody's talking about, it's become the Google, right? It's become the Google of AI apparently because it's the one that's well known. Um, <clears throat> here's three that I've learned though. Jasper is actually where I would have started had I, um, shoot, I just wish this browser was open and I'm sure I had it open. Oh, I bet it's here, here it is. Okay, I just need to exit that. So here is the thing I had. All right, so what I just did, this is chat GPT. Basically you type in a, an instruction and it pops out wording, okay? So I said, write an article about designing a website for small business. And it said, in today's digital age, having a website is essential for any small business and a wider audience, la la la. And it had four things, define your goals, choose the right platform and domain name, keep it simple, user-friendly, highlight your products and services, include calls to action. And then in conclusion, designing a website. So it's just too funny, right? So this can definitely be something that you take and then you put on your blog or you put in an, in a post on social media and you can keep getting it shorter. You could say, write a, and this is where you edit it, write a blog post. So you just change it, blog post about designing a website for small business, right? And then it should write something shorter, I would think. Right. So as a small business owner, create, so it just kind of, I can sit here and talk and it'll just keep on writing. It's crazy what this stuff does. Okay. And so the other, I mean, it's literally, but it could go down a rabbit hole. So I would suggest you come up with different topics you want information on, to create content for, and then just come here one day and put in a bunch of things, but make sure you have something else to do while you're waiting for it to type here and then copy and paste it over into a Word doc, finesse it quickly into some quickly. The key is quickly. You should not spend too much time on any one blog post or any one social media post because none of those are really going to really move the needle to more cash flow. Okay. Look, it's still typing and I don't even know, but oh, it said lastly this time instead of in conclusion. Thank goodness. Okay. So this is writing something completely different, but they, oh, it said in conclusion. Okay. Well, I take that back. Anyways, the point is it wrote it differently because I asked for a blog post instead of, uh, I'm sorry, a, a blog post instead of an article. See, so you can use this and keep in mind, there are a lot of article marketing websites out there too, where you could submit stuff like this. So let me just show you something I did for a client yesterday using this same um, option here. We were trying to figure out how to uh, I can't show you her website, but we're designing a new website for her. And I was trying to help her write content because that's the biggest problem with writing your website is you don't know what to put on it. Right. And, and so she's a brush removal company. And so I was like, okay, so ideas to get you started on content website, I put this in AI. And so she can, she has a brainstorm now to get started with the content. So describe brush removal services. And then it came out with this content. And then I told it to describe tree removal services and it did this. And then I said, describe storm and fire cleanup services. Okay. And it wrote this content. And then I sent that off to her. And I mean, I could literally put this stuff on her website to get it started and then she can edit it later. So I'm just saying that's a great thing to do as well. 
Let me show you really quick because I know I have to go. Okay, so there's a, a site called Video AI too, you guys. And I want to put this in the chat. I just learned about this yesterday. So I literally popped in one of my one hour workshops, video workshops, and look at how many, um, it broke it down into little clips of videos. Look at how many video clips it gave me. Now, this particular workshop had a horrible PowerPoint presentation. So the slides here look really yucky, but you can edit every single one. Now I'm not in a paid membership, so I can't edit anything, but I could download and I already did put this on my Instagram. So I already put one on my Instagram just yesterday. And let me just show you, it's in my, what do I call it? It's right here. So I already put this little clip in my Instagram and you can't hear it. I don't know why, but the point is that uh, I went from this, this thing, creating all these video clips to finding one that actually worked without editing. So I could actually stick it over on my Instagram yesterday as a post. Totally crazy, right? And then guess what I can do too? So here's Blaney's um, LinkedIn. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it into AI and I'm going to say, write, I did this for a second, a guy yesterday, right? A, let me edit it. Hold on. You have to make sure you save this stuff because it goes away, right? Katrina, uh, you have link. to put it down below in the chat thing. What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. Write a LinkedIn recommendation for, and then I'm going to put her LinkedIn address and watch. Submit. I did this yesterday for a friend of mine who was, teaches an AI class. By the way, if anybody wants to take an AI class, he would be great. And I know, right? It takes stuff from her profile on LinkedIn and sticks it into a recommendation, and then I can copy and paste it. This is amazing. LinkedIn. <laughs> Blows your mind, right? Right? So go do this for like 17 of your friends and tell them, and maybe they can do it back to you, right? Look at that, done. And now it might need a little editing. I don't know, I'll save this and give it to you later. Uh, but then the last thing I was gonna say is look at the AI photos. Look at the AI photos, you guys. I just uploaded a photo to newprofilepick.com. Someone can type that in the chat, newprofilepick.com. And it was free to upload a picture, it's an app, and then uh, they came out with a couple of different types, right? And it's just crazy what you can do. Look at my own pros. Oh my God, I look amazing, right? So those are some things I've done with AI.